Hey, day two of Panthers training camp today in Uptown. The players certainly were getting after it despite the wet weather. Yeah, players have their eyes set on what is hopefully a much better season than last year. Sports director Carla Gebhardt is live at Bank of America Stadium for us. Carla, how was day two? Yeah, I'd say we learned a, a little bit more uh, day two about the Carolina Panthers and kind of what they're working with on the offense. We saw some pretty good completions. Head coach Dave Canales called it a bit streaky at times concerning Bryce Young and his direction with his wide receivers. But they also had two situational periods as well. And the defense actually came out on top in both of those. And that's really not uncommon this time of year early on in camp for that side of the ball to kind of really dominate these practices. But this is also a team, guys, like you mentioned, they battled weather this morning, which maybe wasn't fun for the fans to have to sit in and watch, but head coach Dave Canales says he loves it. It gives his uh, team an, an opportunity to focus on that ball security and to be even more intentional in those certain situations. Watching their body language, watching the focus, making sure they look the same as they did yesterday while we're not dealing with the wet, you know, and all of a sudden you introduce it, you introduce rain, and to just watch them continue to stay focused, you know, so there's not this big drastic change, you know, it's just the, the, the most minute little changes and maybe how they catch a ball, um, you know, defensively, you know, having your footing about you and all that. And true Dave Canales fashion to be thankful for the rain here earlier this morning. Again, a reminder that the Panthers are off tomorrow, but they're going to be back on the field on Saturday at 930 for back together Saturday. I hear a lot of legends are going to be out there as well to celebrate the 30th anniversary of the Panthers as an NFL franchise, guys.